Here we're going to be repairing a level one, uh, mostly just a chip. It's firm behind there, so it doesn't need the support of a level two. Um, I just use an 80 grit sandpaper and just sand down, make sure it's smooth. There's nothing protruding from the damage uh, and then get around the edges a little bit. Uh, these corner ones are harder than the ones on the flat area just because they're harder to get to. Um, once you get this completely sanded down, you're going to want to clean up your, your area in preparation for the next step. So just vacuum it up uh, then use a paper towel and, towel and some acetone and wipe it off. Okay, here we're going to mix our fine finish putty. Uh, this is the ratio you want to have it in. That's what we provide you, so use it accordingly. As you're mixing it up, you want to stir it up, and then you want to spread it out and fold it over and spread it out a few times, get that mixed up real well. Uh, then you're going to have about 45 seconds, probably 30, 30 to be safe, uh, to spread this product out. Here I use my finger because it's in the corner. It's a little harder to reach than uh, the flat surfaces. Um, but you just want to spread it out and if you can feather out the edges as you're doing it. Um, you want to give it enough thickness to where you can sand it smooth and it won't go through. So um, don't be afraid to build it up a little bit. Um, once you get done with this, then just clean off your product and you can wipe around the edges with acetone and a paper towel. Okay, here we're going to be mixing products. So I've got my four colors out there. I've got gloss white, gold white, grayish white, and almond. Uh, on this tub I used a cross between the grayish white and the gloss white. Um, just be careful when you're making these. You want about an ounce to two ounces of product depending on how much uh, you're going to need to spray. On this specific job, one ounce was well, well more than enough. Um, we always recommend at least one ounce though. So. Uh, what you want to do when you're mixing product is you want it to you want to use the gloss to kind of lighten it up um, or possibly you know the the almond if you're in a position where you need to darken it down the almond helps a lot with that um, if your product is too gray or too gold uh, use the other color to kind of neutralize that so gray will neutralize gold gold will neutralize gray uh, that's why we include uh, small packets of black and gold dye. Uh, one drop of that will get you, will move your product quite a bit. So be careful with that. But that's you know some cases you run into tubs where that's it's grayer than even we have. Um, it needs to be a little darker. So just we like to put uh, you know a little bit of product in another cup, put a drop in there, mix it up, and then pour just a little bit of that product into your solution it'll move it quite a bit but that helps you avoid you putting a full drop into a solution which can have a really uh, bad effect it can darken it much too much um, <clears throat> as you do this you want to take a drop of your mixed solution your mixed resin and put it on the surface spread it out with your finger and then blow dry it for about 15 seconds uh, it will darken as it dries uh, you notice here my, my swatches are coming out much too dark so I end up having to use a lot more gloss to lighten that up. That's why we recommend mix up maybe half an ounce um, and try to get it hone in on that ratio before you really mix the full ounce. Um, here I've got it where I want it. Um, you know in real life uh, you can tell these will match a lot better it just the lighting uh, does sometimes kind of make it kind of funny uh, on the video but uh, once you get it where you want it, then you're going to mix up your product. Here we're going to be mixing our product. So you always want four parts of resin, one part of catalyst, and two parts reducer. So here I've got one ounce of resin. Next I'm going to apply a fourth ounce of catalyst. And then I apply a half ounce of reducer gives me about 1.75 ounces of product at the end that's plenty uh, to do most level ones uh, just stir it up make sure you get the resin off the bottom off the walls uh, make sure it's a good consistent mixing and then reassemble your preval and set that aside and you'll be ready to spray normally I do this while my product my bonding material is setting up 
Here we're sanding the gray putty, and this is the fine finish putty. I start out with an 80 grit sandpaper. Uh, this one's a little tougher being in the corner. I had to hand sand it. A lot of times you can use uh, the orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper, uh, and that'll get through this stuff real fast. But take your time when you're sanding this. You really just want to make it smooth and be sure those edges are feathered out. Um, so I you know, took about 15 minutes of sanding I had to get this done, but you know that's not that long of a time to fix this right. So feather out the edges, start with the 80 if you need to, then I always move down to the 120 to really get those edges real feathered out nicely. And then once you're done, clean up your workspace. Okay, here we're going to be spraying our product. So first we wipe on the primer, which is the gold solution that we provide. Uh, just be sure to get it all uh, wet and then you're going to dry it a little bit. You don't want it to look wet when you spray it. Uh, next, you're going to take your uh, preval, be about a foot away, and just kind of fog it on real subtle. And now you notice in this situation, I can't go back and forth, so I just kind of real short spritz uh, to fog that on. So you see how I'm just kind of doing real short spritz around there. Now in between coats, you're going to want to dry this for about 45 seconds. Uh, make sure it gets you know a little dry, kind of tacky before you spray the next coat. Then I just kind of fog it on each time, build it up until you get that glossy finish, uh, and then dry it in between. Normally it takes about four coats to get this done. Um, keep in mind, after you finish, you may have some overspray around the vicinity. Just take a paper towel with some acetone. Uh, and clean that up. It'll prevent you from having a rough finish. If you do have a rough finish, you can take some like steel wool and water after this cures uh, and kind of just rub that, rub that smooth. It's just uh, a little bit of overspray that's settled on the surface. So uh, continue this process till you get a good glossy finish and then uh, clean up your area just like that. And then you'll be good to go. Thank you for watching our level one tub repair video. Please visit tubrepairco.com where you'll find our level one kits as well as our level two and our level three kits. We look forward to helping you repair your tub.